Hello everyone, I'm Kelly, and welcome to this ukulele lesson series for older adults and seniors. Together we're going to be exploring the ukulele at a casual pace, we're going to work on the basics, and we're also going to learn how to play some classic songs. In this lesson we're going to talk about the different types of ukuleles out there, how to hold the ukulele, how to tune it, we're also going to be talking about how to pick strings and strum strings. If you'd like to get better at the ukulele, please subscribe to my channel and like this video. That way you don't miss the next video in this lesson series. There are four types or sizes of ukulele. The first size and the most common is a soprano, and I have three sopranos with me today. I have this one, this pink one here, which kind of matches my shirt, and also this blue one. I also have this tenor ukulele, and this is the one I prefer to play on because it's bigger than the soprano, and I've made some modifications to it, so I won't be using it in this series, but you might see this in my other videos. I also have a baritone ukulele, and a baritone ukulele is cool and fun to play as well, but I don't recommend it because it's tuned differently than the other three sizes. The only size that I don't have is the concert, which is a little bit bigger than the soprano and a little bit smaller than the tenor. For holding the instrument, you're going to need to support it with your fretting hand or your left hand usually up like this, and you're going to want the ukulele up kind of high up on your chest area here. You want to make sure to not let it sit on your lap if you can help it. It's really hard to play like that because you have to reach under. I also recommend getting a strap if you can do that. I don't have one for my soprano, but I do have one for my tenor. The strap makes it really easy to play because it takes the support off your left hand, your fretting hand. And so if you play with a strap, it allows you to move your left hand a lot more easily. You won't have to be holding it. For tuning, I use this little clip-on snark tuner, and I got this on Amazon. It was like $15. It's very helpful, and I recommend you get one as well. The notes that we tune the ukulele strings to are G, C, E, A. You can sing the classic tune, My dog has fleas, to help to see if you're relatively in tune. We're not going to talk too much about tuning today because I've already made a video about it. Check that out here. You're going to want to tune your ukulele frequently. You might have to tune it every single time you play it. The main parts of the ukulele are the body, the sound hole. This is the bridge back here, and our four strings uh, connect to the bridge, and they go over the neck of the ukulele up to the head. And then we have our tuners here. These uh, control our strings, how high and low they go. And then we have on the neck, we have the fretboard. That's the front of it. And on the fretboard, we have these little frets here. You can count the frets by first sliding down here and going in between this plastic part called the nut and this first metal fret. That's the first fret here. So in between here, this would be one. And as you go to your right, you're going to count higher. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. This ukulele has twelve frets on it. So let's get our ukuleles up nice and high here, and we're just going to do a little picking of the strings with our thumb like this. We'll just pick the strings open together. I'm holding the ukulele with my hand here and also here on the neck. This would be four, three, two, one, four, three, two, one. So the strings are counted four, three, two, one from the top down. And if you count from the bottom up, it would be one, two, three, four. Let's try that together. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. I almost missed it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. The other way we play the ukulele is by strumming. You basically just pick all the strings or strum them at the same time like this. Sometimes it's tricky to get an even sound. You can try this with me if you want. This is actually a chord. It's called C6. Sounds Hawaiian. Speaking of Hawaiian, I wore my Hawaiian shirt today. Let's count the beat. Here we go. One, two, three, four. 
One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Those are quarter note rhythms. And when you see quarter note rhythms written for the ukulele, they look like these little slashes. And that's because we're just playing a rhythm. We are, we're playing notes as well, but usually when you see a quarter note, it has a round head and a stem. But just know that quarter notes, when you do strumming, looks like kind of like a slanted slash with a stem. Avast ye, what be this treasure chest of mysterious parchment? Nay, not gold nor silver, but something far more. Aye, these be the most exquisite digital sheet music pieces to ever grace the seven seas. And now you can get your hands on them too. Just head over to Patreon and become a Casey's Music Method patron. We've got music from across the ages, from the classics to the modern. And as a member, you'll have access to a wide variety of music, including my own books that I have written, custom arrangements, and songs from YouTube videos. Don't wait any longer. Arr. If we want this chord to sound even better, what we can do is on the bottom string, we can count to the third fret by doing this. One, two, three. I'm using my pointer finger here and I'm gonna push down on the string like this, the first string just on the bottom. I'm gonna strum like that. I have my thumb pressing on the back here, on the back of the neck. And I'm just squeezing the ukulele and strumming. This is called C major. See if you can find that. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Yes! You just learned your first song. Good job. So we play different notes or chords by moving our finger to different locations on the neck. And if you want to go higher, you go towards your right or like up like this, right? This is, the notes get higher as you go this way and they get lower as you go the opposite way. So if you start high and go down, they get lower that way. But on the ukulele, we have this higher pitch string, the G on top. And so that's why we start with a high note and then it goes down. It's kind of different than other instruments. The only other instrument that I'm aware of that does this is the banjo. Hey, maybe we should do some banjo lessons for older adults and seniors. What do you think? Thanks for watching this video, everyone. I hope that it was helpful for your learning. Have a great day.